Hey guys, it's Akinok here for No Way In Team, your number one source for awesome. And today I have a worthy gameplay. This is a quick comeback, zero and 500 deficit win on uh, Dome. And I just wanted to show you a couple of tactics that I have in case you're playing free for all and you get stuck, placed into a room where the game's already half over. Uh, my theory, always go for the win. So there's a couple moments here in this video where, yeah, I'm a little campy, but uh, I own it and uh, get a lucky jug suit at the end, but come on. So <clears throat> I also want to talk to you guys quickly about uh, what can you expect on our channel coming up here. So this is a quick channel update and um, we're really excited for uh, Black Ops 2 to be released. So uh, we started Black Fridays. Please check out that video. Uh, we're also planning on always giving you guys a Topic Tuesday where myself and A-Bomb, we alternate on topics. We usually can find something that's affecting our lives or we want to have some kind of perspective to give you guys. Hope you're enjoying that. And uh, I'm also going to throw out some tactical videos every now and then. A perfect example is this one right here. So uh, yeah, this is my most campiest moment here in this gameplay where I'm basically hugging the wall and hitting noobs. I just wanted to go over a couple of other things when, uh, again, you get stuck in a game where they throw you into uh, a room that's basically, you feel like you've lost before you even started to, to try. Uh, if you ever get stuck in dome and um, the game's half over, there's some definitely strategic areas where you can instantly start racking up some kills and uh, hopefully work your way to some kill streaks. In my case, I had specialist on, so uh, I really had to work for this comeback. But uh, you'll see that I went from kind of the the highest point of the map and now I down I'm here at the lowest. And the reason why I'm in these positions is, again, just to get those people that seem to spawn and run straight forward without looking. It happens again and again and again. And I, I know what some people say, that it's a campy way to play, but when you're playing on dome and there's spawn points uh, or spawn positions that are really close to you, this is usually the best way that you're going to rack up the points. So the other reason why, again, I'm in these areas is the spawn positions. Uh, I've, played, I've played dome more than enough times to understand where the main spawn points are and if you don't have the tendency to look at your surroundings I will definitely capitalize on uh, your lack of situational awareness and take you down so if you are any uh, on any other map the same rules apply uh, if you've played a map uh, good enough to know that these are the high traffic areas when you spawn in that middle of the match go straight to that area and just start collecting and sometimes you'll surprise yourself on how uh, big of a, a deficit you can come back from. I've got several games where it just got more and more exciting. It almost felt like I was going for that, that big MOB uh, gameplay, uh, but instead it was just simply a comeback when I was down like a thousand points or something ridiculous like that. So uh, that's why I thought this gameplay was worthy for you guys. And um, right here, I'm picking up that jug. Um, can't believe someone just left it in the open there because this pretty much guarantees my victory. Uh, and again, another perfect example of a room with people that aren't quite educated on what to do with a jug. All someone has to do is come up behind me with some dual SMGs and uh, annihilate me. But uh, you'll see that people throw grenades, which yeah, I mean they can ton of damage you. Other people try to knife me, which is extremely entertaining. And uh, again, when you are chasing after a jug, or if you're aware a jug is in the game, don't sprint to him and give him free kills. That always makes me laugh. Uh, I love how easy this ending was because every time you see a jug on the map, it's like this magnet for noobs and they just come running at you. And I don't think they realize that you can simply knife them when they're like right on your ass. So uh, yeah, I, I was stoked that uh, I had the opportunity to get into the jug suit and uh, go for the win. So uh, thanks for joining me guys and remember, there's always going to be a Topic Tuesday and we're working, working very hard on getting a Black Friday every week, something about Black Ops 2. And before I leave you guys today, I uh, just want to ask you to do one more thing. Go check out a Repeater's channel. It's the annotation there in the middle. Um, we like to support the community. We don't mind giving shout outs or anybody that uh, likes our content and we like their content. Uh, we always believe in growing other people's channels just like we like to grow ours. So uh, if you're interested in uh, getting a shout out, please um, private message us or throw a comment down. Uh, I'd love to communicate with you guys. Uh, Repeater there is, uh, he just started his channel. He's looking for more views and uh, we'd be very happy to support him. 
again, we're all about the community. So uh, if you want that opportunity and you like what you see on our channel, we'll be more than happy to promote yours. And uh, that's what that middle box is for. Uh, sometimes we're going to throw some dual comms up there if we don't have a shout out, but uh, we'll be more than happy to do that. So again, thanks a lot for joining me today with this uh, awesome comeback gameplay. And uh, join us next week for our typical schedule. Okay, so thanks a lot, guys. Catch you later.